talk about uh, rebounds or points or falling behind and getting back in the game and runs one way or the other. Tell me about those uniforms. Hey, these got to be the nicest uniforms I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> these are some nice uniforms. Now, the rumor is that one of your teammates designed it. Yeah, Bridget Restat. <laughs> Big B. So, for, for, those that, uh, now, for those that are watching on the uh, on the press conference, they, they can kind of see. But for those that are on the radio right now can't see it, give us a little bit. Here's your chance to do a little play-by-play. Okay, we'll okay. Play-by-play. So, we got, some, we got some stitching in it. We got some baby blue and red. You know, we, it's kind of giving you like a throwback look, like a kind of like a, a, um, an 80s throwback look for the uh, basketball world. So, yeah. You know, you say that, and it kind of does remind me a little bit of maybe like, uh, I don't know, not necessarily the colors, but say the Detroit Pistons. I was just thinking that. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. That was pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, it wasn't a first good three minutes for the uniforms because you guys <laughs> fell in a, in a hole pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. Talk us through what happened in the first, say, three, four minutes of the game. Uh, well, you know, they just came out very strong. We um, we never really fell behind like that before all season, so it was kind of different for us. But you know, we picked we picked we picked it up at the end, and we got our heads in the game. We had to get it together, meet as a team, and go over some stuff. And after that, you know, sky was the limit. Is, is it sometimes good to have a little bit of an adversity like that? For sure, it's for sure. It's definitely good to have adversity like that because you get to see like how the game and how the intensity of the game is about to go. So you can kind of like prepare yourself. And, you know, blessed to have a good team like we have, and we just responded well to it. Now, I, I hate to even ask this, but it, it's tough. I know friends of mine are talking about Florida Gulf Coast and have been for the last two weeks. Oh, man, if things continue the way that they are, blah, 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 blah. Was it hard to, to get honed in on this game with that one looming? No, nah, we as a team, like, we, we take one game at a time. We focus on one game at a time, one practice at a time. So we was focusing on North Florida this whole week, and now we're about to prepare for FGCU. So, you know, we, we just got to take one game at a time. That's what we've been doing. And, you know, it's, it's time to get ready for them now. The last couple games you've had some teammates out, COVID protocols, mm-hmm. uh, just varying circumstances. It's now getting closer to being back to normal. Yep. But let's take a little bit of a step back, that Stetson game. You had to play about 38 minutes and 50 seconds, I think is what the stat sheet said. Mm-hmm. I, and most of that time that you didn't play was because you fouled out the last minute <laughs> yeah. of the game. Uh, so you've played a lot of minutes in mm-hmm. the last week or so. Uh, uh, describe to us kind of – I guess it's a blessing – that you guys have so much depth that no one normally has to play more mm-hmm. than 30 minutes in a game. But when you had to, how were you able to adapt to that? It's just we prepare for it all season. The girls that were out, they prepared us all season to be ready for that moment like that. So going into it, it was different. But it was like we prepared for it all season, so we were ready for it. I was ready to play 38, 39 minutes. And I was just blessed enough that those girls that were out pushed me enough all season in order for me to be ready for that moment. And I'm just blessed with the opportunity that we got. You had a career high today as far as D1 career high of yeah. uh, points and, re- and rebounds. Do you kind of have a running total in your head as the game goes along? Do you, you kind of have any idea of what stats are happening? No, nah, not at all. I just focus on the game, focus on getting a W. Only stats I worry about is that score. Floor burns, do you keep track of how many floor burns? Because you had <laughs> several in this game. Yeah, no, nah, I, hey, I just do what I got to do to get the W. I don't keep track of nothing but the score. Well, that's great. Uh, we've got a couple guys on the on this uh, teleconference as well, Damian and Aaron. So let me throw it over to them and see if they have any questions. D. Coach Green said you went into beast mode there. Uh, you know, you had shot block, I think, two times in a row, kept getting your rebound, finished it strong. And then I think, you know, t- after you guys got down 10 early, it was your strip and steal that really got you guys back into it. You had a couple of those there in the first quarter. Did you? Go to another level in terms of intensity and making sure one, you got girls got back into it, and then two in the fourth quarter finishing the game strong. For sure, for sure. I think it was um, a point where they went up 0 10, and Kennedy just locked us in. She was like, hey, we got to get it together. And that's when it clicked like, hey, I got to, we got to push it out. We got to grind it out. It's about to be a hard fight game. So after that, after she snapped us back into place, I was like, I got to get it. And I just, another, it was like another gear click, like another person came out of me. So I was like, you know, we got to get this W. And I never, we really, really never like been in that type of position where we had to fight like that all season. So it was great. It was, I think it was honestly great. It was fun. 
and I'm just blessed that we had that opportunity. We got it out the way before FGCU, so now we now we feel how this feels. Hey, D, great game. Um, Thank you. Quick question. So there's a trending tweet right now. Player-led accountability equals championship standards. And I can see that personified in you on the court where you're yelling at your girls and you're, get, you're getting them back in the game and you pulled them with you when you were, when y'all were down 10 nothing. Tell me what that's like, the player accountability for this team. You know, it's just like somebody got to do it. I got to step up and be that, that voice, that, that spirit for them and let them know that everything going to be okay and let them know that we got it. This is what we prepared for. And once you do that, once you be like that leader on the court and you just let them, everybody know that it's going to be okay, like everybody like calm down, they relax and – you know, you just people just need a person to turn to, and I feel like you know I got to be that person. Whether I'm out there scoring or I'm just rebounding, if I got, if I'm not doing anything on the court, I got to be a, a high spirit, being high spirits for my team, and let them know that I'm encouraging them and I'm motivating them at all times. So.